Today we're going to turn azurite rocks into pigment. For that you need a mortar and pestle. But not one like this. This is good for crushing up saffron or small things. For rocks. Not one like this. Made of metal. That's easy enough. Take your azurite. Toss it in. Can you even see in there? Here's the pestle. Now the cloth is to keep dust particles from flying off. It's too clingy. See the popcorn. So far I've only cracked it in half. But it's a soft rock so it crushes up fast. This is the equivalent of using a muller on a plate, but you don't want to do that if you have a glass plate because you'll scratch it up. Still some big chunks in there. Almost there. I'm going to stop this before it's quite where I want it to go because this is time consuming. We're going to leave some bigger particles in there. Azure undergoes a process called levigation. Levigation is just a fancy word for washing. See what a pretty color that is? But there's a bunch of big rocks in there. I'll help for showing off the levigation better. Pour some water in. Most people do this at the sink. I didn't know what the sound of the faucet to disturb us. Instead, we get to listen to the cat making noise. So, you want to get your particles suspended in the water and then pour them off. That will leave behind the bigger particles. We're going to do this too quickly this time. Alright, 
Now there's not much there, but this size is approximately what you want for your paint. Now there's a problem if you over crush azurite because the teeny teeny particles turn gray. Again, not leaving much behind. Can you see how the edges of the water are gray? If you overcrush your azurite, you lose your pretty blue color. But you don't want to undercrush it either because the really big particles are too hard to even try to paint with. Okay, this isn't going to work for the any further than this, at least at the moment. Now these need to be crushed more. They're almost usable, but they're too big. These are just about right for paint. Okay.